Hey guys, welcome back to another Digimon Leaks video. Hope you guys enjoy this. If you do wind up enjoying it, please consider hitting that subscribe button. That being said, we're gonna go ahead and do some summons here, some captures on the new Mega Festival capture banner. So, hope you guys enjoy it again. So, we're gonna go ahead and pull here. Now, I'm gonna go over what's in the banner as well for you guys. Now, I've also repeatedly said that, hey, you don't have to pull in this game very often. Not really much necessity unless you're trying to get chips or like of course they're doing that whole special chip thing which kind of sucks but they are um aside from that again no real reason to pull unless you want a shortcut because what happens is at some point most if not all of these megas become acquirable through just playing in-game events you get the mega fragments and stuff like that um but what happens is you can capture them and basically get a shortcut at them and also you can capture them already pre-awakened like plus one plus two plus three plus four if you're interested in knowing how to do that by the way i have a video on how to awaken digimon cheap plug but that's the only real reason to pull on these mega festivals and stuff like that um so you know it's up to, it's up to you at your own discretion also keep in mind you may or may not pull what you're looking for just like any uh, other gacha game which is like a, a game that has a summon mechanic like a dokkan like a uh, Fire Emblem Heroes, just anything else, right? So, okay, so these are the Megas that are on the banner. We have Old Force, we have Minervamon, we have Mega Gargomon, all the ones that were featured there on the image that you just saw. Now, the last Mega Festival had a lot of them in here. I'm pretty sure that the very first banner that had Omegamon on it was a Mega Festival. Correct me if I'm mistaken, but regardless, still nice to see this. Um, and then, of course, they have the host of Ultimates and uh, requisite uh, other levels there. So, guaranteed capture. So also, you have a chance to get a plus four of each Mega, plus one, plus two, plus three, also down to just normal unawakened. And then on top of that, they can also have all these leader skills or legacy skills. So you can legitimately pull one that's like plus four with a level five uh, legacy skill, or like, and also like an incredible leader skill or like a subpar one. Also can come with ability medals. Some people have tweeted me their pulls already and I saw like a guy that had a, a gold ability medal so that's awesome too so you can get just anything <laughs> just like any other capture now don't worry about how much I spent just know that I have a good job I can take care of my family and uh, you know we're good to go because I know that some of you guys would say, what how much do you guys spend I would never don't worry about it it's, it's for YouTube I want to make videos for you guys and you know YouTube is, is good in that I can kind of make some of it back so anyways we're gonna do a 10 capture and we're gonna go in, like I said, the goal is a plus four, but if I get like any any of them, like I'll be happy, right? Like ideally I want a plus four, but a plus two, plus three, whatever. Again, I will be happy. We're gonna start off with a rookie Patamon. <laughs> don't care about, you know what, to be fair, I don't wanna say I don't care about these because it's, <laughs> I love how he raises the roof, bro. Uh, I don't wanna say I don't care about these because it's possible that I get a uh, little black uh, Guru Mon. It's possible that I get some nice legacies or leaders on these guys. I, I wonder when I'll be able to get a Gallimon. That'd be really nice. Okay. Gecko! Gecko! Okay, oh, I was gonna say that was a bad one, but I saw that the outline was there on uh, War Growlmon, and he has Legacy and Leader. He must be pretty good. Major boost to defense, so he had a major, and he got a level four Legacy, so that's what I meant. You can get Digimon that are pretty good. This is a really good um, War Growlmon, okay. Again, you can't get Galliamon yet unless you did the... So some people will have a plus one Galliamon, like I have a plus one uh, Magnamon, because for three days after you start your account, this sucks, uh, for three days after you start your account, you can actually go ahead and pick up the beginner pack for up to three days after you start your account, and it's like 16 bucks where I am. Some people have said it costs a little more, you know, currency conversion, and uh, you can pick out any Mega that you want that's in the list. Some people have Alphamon and stuff like that, so... We have to go to the garden because I have apparently too many fodder Digimon that I actually don't really have very many fodder Digimon at this point anymore. I just can't can't put the house up anymore. That really sucks, but I don't need any of these. I apparently have too many Digimon, basically. So we're gonna get rid of all of these. We'll have to do this again for sure. I'm actually gonna just wind up releasing some that don't have any leaders or legacies or any of that. It's a champion, right? It's an ultimate ultimate yeah oh super rare okay so it's a champion this is gonna be a mega oh, oh ultimate okay okay oh, ultimate okay 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 oh all right this isn't a bad pull if I'm pulling ultimate ultimates are nice oh we got a Minerva Mon okay I'll take it we got a Minerva Mon QB Mon is she gonna be awakened no awakening okay 
but she has nothing. She has a leader skill. That's cool. She's just kind of there, though. I have Mega Fragments for her. Uh, he has a leader, too. I have Mega Fragments for her because um, they had that ticket capture, and I got like five of them. Um, let's go ahead and go to the house. And I'm going to go to switch them to filter. No leader skill, no ability metal. And we're going to send some of these home. I'm pretty sure they don't have any sort of uh, good support skills either, or legacy skills either, because I've already went through most of my Digimon and just leveled up the ones that have good legacy skills so I can inherit them at some point. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Also, if you guys have pulled on this, I hope you guys have had good luck. Let me know some of your success or lack thereof, I guess, in the comments down below. Please and thank you. I'd appreciate it. Uh, so we're going to start off with you. And then we're moving into Renamon. That was a really weird transition. Oh, uh, Giamon. Uh, I, oh, I should have wait, waited for him to raise the roof. <laughs> that blue Greymon. Oh, was that a Magnamon? I, like, barely saw it. Game's having some really weird transitions right now, but that was a completely bad pull. Uh, maybe he has a decent leader skill, though. Moderate boost to defense. Okay, I'll take it. Let's jump in again. Hopefully, some of you guys had better luck than this. Some of you guys hopefully pulled uh, Old Force in your first one. Now, Old Force is one of the best Digimon in the game, so that's one of the reasons why I want to go for him. And um, I should have probably went for him instead of Magnemon, but I advocated at the time going for whatever Digimon you wanted, like primarily, because I still think that's the best way to play games like this anyway. Going for what you want, what you enjoy, as opposed to only worrying about competitiveness. Mega Gargamon coming through, but he's one of the best Digimon in the game, so definitely want to go ahead and get a chance to acquire him. Is that Starmon or Super Starmon? I think it's Starmon. Kabuterimon! Oh, it's oh, plus one Gargamon too. Let's see what the legacy skill is. Uh, major decrease the defense. That's actually really good. Debuffing ones are really good. Starmon. Okay, yeah, I had to check because my OCD was going to go crazy. Plus one awakened. Uh, leader skill. Okay, not bad. I'll take the Gargamon. I didn't have one, so that's nice. I thought about turning, because I, I think I started the game with a Terriermon. I thought about turning it into one at some point. Of course, I couldn't have yet because uh, they haven't actually dropped fragments for that guy, but I thought about it. Just never wound up doing it because <laughs> I couldn't. And then, in fact, I turned him into a War Growlmon, I think, or something like that. I don't know. The very first Digimon I had is basically fodder. Another Minervamon. Okay, still waiting for that Old Force. He hasn't come up. Uh, Mamemon. I would love to get him like relatively soon. Even if. Oh, there he is. All right, cool. I was gonna say even if he's not awakened, because I want to try for the, some chips for the uh, Pleasymon event. Oh, very last one in the capture. Unawakened. Okay, I'll take it. I will take it. He has a leader skill. Heavy strike. Eh. But, oh, I think I got the better one, too. Multiple hits of major physical. Yep. So that's the better skill on him. The AOE one is okay, the signature. Uh, but that's the better one. Uh, another Minervamon. This one has no awakening either. And the game just crashed. We'll be right back. Well, uh, we're back after the game, like I said, just decided to crash. <laughs> I had to go through literally five 10 captures to get my very first one. And uh, apparently we're full again. I had to go through five. That took a really long time. Like, I'm actually kind of disappointed that it took that long. I hope that you guys had better luck because that took a really long time. Uh, we're going to go ahead and release like probably 10 batches of these. Because one of the things you should continually be doing, unless you plan on pulling a lot like I am at this point, one of the things you should continually be doing in this game is constantly getting in training Digimon and turning them into rookies. And then, you know, you can get ability medals that way. You can get nice legacy skills that way if you get lucky from the link capture. That's one of the things you should constantly be doing in this game. And it's one of the things that I have constantly done as well. Definitely uh, make sure that you guys are doing that. And then you can kind of turn them into fodder megas and then start awakening your Digimon with whatever advent quests are live and stuff like that. So that's one of the things you guys should be doing in this game. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in again because I do want to try to get a better one. But if I don't get one, I'm perfectly happy with the one I have. Don't get me wrong. And I'll just go from there. I'll just awaken him manually, which, again, if you're pulling, it's because you want a shortcut. <laughs> that's the only reason why. 
The freaking Impmon, are you laughing at my pain right now? Are you just laughing at my lack of ability to pull one? This is having some really weird transitions. <laughs> uh, okay, Coagamon. Another Gargamon, okay. Bachmon, Bakemon, Bachmon. Oh, I got a legacy skill on this rookie. Oh, I got a couple leaders too. Major physical thunder, not bad, I'll take it. Uh, moderate and Coagamon, or Okuamon, excuse me. Moderate, okay. <laughs> this guy, just sitting here with that. Lupine Lunge, the original one, the OG one. No major, no moderate, just the regular. Just the regular one. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be an ultimate. Oh, or Mega, okay. All right, fine. Another Gargamon, I can't, I can't discern those. I, I used to know them, but apparently I haven't pulled in a while. Look at the Vmon doing flips. Black Gatomon looking nice. This game's giving me a lot of Gargamon, and they're all unawakened too. Except for the, I think I got a plus one one in there, to be fair. Uh, Garamon has major physical null damage to all enemies, not bad. The AoE attacks are kind of hit or miss. Because a lot of times they have really low uh, power. This should be a ultra rare. Oh, hyper rare. Okay, so we legit pulled Rapidmon. Okay. <laughs> and Gargamon, because the game is giving me a lot of Gargamon. We pulled his ultimate and his mega right back to back. All right. Gargamon just loves me, apparently. I got an ability medal somewhere here. Oh, on a... Uh I got a few legacies in there too, not bad. A level five one, not bad. Level five silver though, but still not bad. We have a couple pulls left, a couple pulls left. But of course this keeps happening because <laughs> I can't enhance anymore. It's, ba oh no, uh, that's the wrong button. Ah, oh, stop it, stop it, stop. Leave me alone, don't care. Uh, where's the house? Uh, I can't upgrade anymore. List, uh, let's make sure that wasn't I just here? Why are you telling me? I was just here. All right. Oh, that's not on release. Boom. I'm trying to be careful because I don't know which ones have abilities. Not abilities, Um, nice legacies anymore because I might have just released one, to be honest, like a rookie I had that had a legacy in it. It's not the biggest problem. It's kind of like a first world thing, but like, um, I'm trying to be careful. I don't want to get rid of anything that I need, right? Okay. So we're going to jump in again. At Toy Agumon. Another Minervamon. At least I got an Old Force, though. I'm not mad about that. Just interested in how many Gargamons I'm getting, right? He's getting Gargamon left and right. The Minervamon has a leader skill. Nice uh, legacy on you. What legacy do you have? Another nice legacy. Pulling a lot of nice legacies. Legacies are awesome. The ability to... The game crashed again. Not exactly why, sure why Like it uh, keeps crashing, but I'm just going to cut that out for you guys. But yeah, we we're looking at Minervamon. Don't really know what she had, but final pull of the video. We're going to get up out of here after this one. Hope you guys did have fun today as well. Uh, extended summoning session. So. Alright. All force. All force. Will it be? Oh. Okay. <laughs> and before another. Wow. Regular Vidramon. Okay. And before another. um, Another. Uh, what's it called? Gargamon. Right? Please no though. God dang it. <laughs> oh man. I totally just jinxed that. I should have knocked on wood. All for us, yes. <laughs> okay. Last chance. Come on, game. Last chance. He's not awakened. I got ability metal in there, though. I wonder if this is the AoE one. It isn't. Okay, well, I pulled two of them. So that's cool. Uh, <laughs> this is like, <laughs> come on now. So many. Oh, boy. I pulled two ability medals in here. Uh, moderate physical. And regular, or Arrow Vigramon, excuse me, not regular Vigramon. Leader skill, and you have an ability medal, right? Level two silver. Okay, I'll take it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. Subscribe if you're new for more content, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy, guys.